There we go. There we go. Yeah. Nah, I know the fe I know the main page is flooded. Yeah, I know. I know. There's too much stuff going on. It's too complicated. It's a it's a mess. I know. Um, I don't. I used to be able to with my other channel be able to um. I used to be able to have it uh, appear at the top of the page when I did a live stream. Uh, wait, hang on. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm trying to figure out how I would do that. Can I have like uploads? Uploads at the top? But I don't want that to have like, I suppose it would be good to have uploads at the top, right? I'll go uploads here. So I make that, what does that show? Does that show the most recent thing on the channel there? No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't show... Oh, it shows the live stream. Oh, so the live stream does show at the top of the page. That's cool. Um, cool. Yeah, I think we're good, though. I think we're good. Sup, shooters. Name's Logan, aka Spiderhands. Welcome to this SP live streams for Zhang Yuxing or Cheng Yuxing. Um, this was earlier than I thought I was going to do it. Uh, I'm going to be making a few changes to the channel over the next little while to make things a little more streamlined. Um, I'll talk about them in a video I'm putting out tomorrow. Um, you'll notice the whole SP member thing up above. Um, feel free to pay attention to that or don't pay attention to that. It's all good. But basically, um, how do I do this? I suppose I should do like congrats to eh on being an SP member. Yeah, that's how I would do it. Um, because I've been, I basically put a membership thing into these live streams. And again, I, I know that these live streams aren't hugely popular or anything like that. Um, but yeah, uh, we, we exist now. Um, I don't really think I actually want to have the uploads up top there. If it shows the, um, if it shows the live stream whenever I go live, then that's probably enough for me. So I'll probably just get rid of that uploads thing. Um, I did what I wanted to without me even really wanting it to do it. So we'll go remove section, SP reviews, cool. That's great. Yeah, welcome. Welcome to this live stream. We're gonna be listening to five tracks today uh, from Zhang Yuxing, the top five on Spotify. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Hopefully I'm coming through okay in the mic. Um, oh, wait, hang on. Hang on a minute. I got text boxes, hang on. I'll just, uh, I'll just, uh, how do I do this? How do I do this? Text boxes. Um, there, nope, not that one. ISP live streams, yep. And uh, yeah, usually I do that, right? Uh, what do you got? It's real professional. The, this, this, the stuff I'm doing right now is real professional. I'm sure everyone is enjoying me not knowing what the fuck I'm doing live on air. It's great. Um, it's one of those days today. Uh, yeah, I, I suppose that would be good to have have live now, wouldn't it? Yeah, nope, not that one. Uh, top five on Spotify? No, no. Um, losing my mind. I'm losing my mind doing this. I'm very, 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 very. What? Yeah, make make one visible to people. Why is that not not? Why is that one visible? Why is that the only one that's visible? Why are none of them visible now? How about that one? That is okay. Yeah, that's okay. All right. Um, and then SP live streams up top. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, no, we, we're definitely not doing Steve Chow today. We're definitely not. Absolutely not. Um, suppose I should go top five on Spotify. Spotify. There, that top five, not a percentage point. Jesus, it's complete miss. Five on Spotify. Why do I have caps lock on everything? Why do I, I, I don't even know if I should have done this today. Five on Spotify. 
top five on Spotify. There we go. Still can't fucking spell, but that's fine. Why does it say top? What? Weird. Very weird. Anyways, um, we're just going to get into it. We're just going to ignore the last 10 minutes of it. I've got the lyrics here for these five songs, which is pretty cool. Um, we've got I Wish. We've got uh, I Miss You Every Day. We've got My Future Isn't a Dream. Uh, we've also got... Zhang uh, Yuxing Da Hai. And we've got this one, Lyrics of Duplicity as well. So yeah, I'll send three HDs from start to finish here, what you think. Um, let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. It's nice to have that piano intro, isn't it? It's so soothing. So peaceful. Well, it's good to know that his version's a classic, eh? That's fantastic. His voice is distinctive, isn't it? it? Sits on the upper range above the piano. I'm wondering like whether he composed everything himself like because I know he was a very avid songwriter he's prolific You see, that's the thing, Jay all day, every day. You're missing out. You're really missing out. He's a fantastic singer. That falsetto is just stunning, dude. It's flawless. Say goodbye and then a little bit of a vocal flow at the end with the piano work and the strings and everything. It doesn't really need any more than this at this point. He's captured the attention of the listener without even really... I know he is trying. What's up, Shen Yida? How are you doing? Welcome to the live stream. Why do I have two exclamation points? One. One exclamation point. <laughs> ah, cool. Nice to have the drums come in with this guitar solo. It instantiates a new section. It makes it memorable. Greetings from London. Greetings from London. I'm really hoping that there was actually captions uh, sorted for this. Please, for the love of anything holy, make it so that there is actually captions. I swear if there's not auto captions, I'm going to write We'll be fine. Good afternoon and welcome to everyone from London. Again, like how often can you justify that? How often can you justify someone coming in just with that clean guitar there on top of everything else and having the vocals away for a minute? I mean, I'd say that a lot of what Tom, you know, the Chang Shu Chang Shu Sheng sings is like difficult. I don't like. I haven't heard a single song from Zhang Yu Sheng that is easy to sing or easy to perform. He's just he's 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 good. He's very much a um. He'd be damn near a virtuoso composer, wouldn't he? Yeah. Would he be a virtuoso? 
He was incredibly talented. And that if the plays five right at the end. Hey, it repeats that passage there, nice. The drum work is so chill as well. There's all these little hi-hat hits that he does. And there's a lot of uh, subtle little dynamic range going on there. Yeah, I, I, I was sad for him as well. You know, when I first heard this guy, I was really sad that the world didn't have him anymore. He died way too young, way too young. That oomph there. He's just been holding it back. He's been he's been um pocketing it until now. But he's still got more in the canon, you know what I mean? I'm loving how everything's in unison with those key syllables. Oh thank you, Hemahuabo. I got the lyrics here, my dude, though, it's fine. We got it all sorted. Or oh, she died. We all sorted for lyrics, my man. We all organized. Ah, but I also have the English lyrics. We both have translations. Like, honestly, it annoys the shit out of me sometimes when I hear people do this. But with Zhang Yuxing, it's an exception. It's like he's earned the right to have these really intricate, incredible vocal legato sections here where you're not necessarily telling more of the story. Um, primarily because I think everything else in the mix has been displayed oh so eloquently and if you if you can understand the language I'm sure you've had enough of the context by now to be able to appreciate it you know the drums were so subtle there it was very much vocal focused but at the same time there's just it's almost like that little guitar solo we had in the middle was enough I know that he does some really crazy stuff on the electric guitars. His shredding is insane, dude. I cannot fathom how he pulls off those, those solos and some of the pet tracks I've reviewed before, but, um... My lord. It's a great time. Yeah, I think that's it. I think he is really feeling the music. Yeah, Bin Bin Jai'd, I, I, I completely agree. It was an absolute mess. I, I really wish... There has been a lot of musicians that died young, and Zhang Yuxing is one of the ones I wish really... You know, if I had to sacrifice 10 musicians that died young and bring back one, I'd probably bring back Zhang Yuxing and probably Jimi Hendrix. Those are the two I'd bring back if I had to sacrifice the other ones. <laughs> oh no, and the Beyond dude. And the the Wong Kakui, I'd bring him back too. Well, I miss Wong. I wish Beyond. I I wish she. I I. It's 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 sad, man. I got into this music way too late. But stunning first track here, you know. Really, it's a classic, isn't it? You know, a couple of million plays. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, man. I'm pretty impressed with that. I, eh? um, you know, I wish by, uh, you know, Tom Chang, Chang Yuxing, Zhang Yuxing, excellent stuff. Excellent stuff, you know. Um, I've had some people tell me that they want me to like get someone in to do like a live, be part of the live stream to like help them, th help me through the music. And, you know, that'd probably be like really professional. But here at Logan, L Logan Spider Hands Incorporated, we aren't necessarily always professional. Sometimes we like to look at something, even with the clamp playing English in front of us, and still have no idea what the hell is going on. That That's part of the experience, you see say goodbye i wish that i would come back one day in the future um come back my first love There's a lot of imagery of the seasons within these songs aren't there like i've reviewed a lot of songs from this part of the world and you guys they love their seasons 
talking about autumn and summer and winter and everything like that. Um, Logan Spider Hands Incorporated, K Kaku Soup, absolutely. At Logan Spider Hands Incorporated, we will not know what's going on and we will be proud of it. Um, <laughs> during his military service, because then President liked the songs, the military especially sent Zhang Yuxing by helicopter to sing his famous songs on the spot and Lin left by helicopter. Wow. I wonder how he felt about that. I wonder how that was. Because I know some musicians that would be super into that. And I know some musicians that would like take that opportunity to spit in the face of their leader, you know, um, like punk rock bands and stuff like that. It's an interesting sort of thought process there, you know. I, I guess that's why it doesn't happen more often that like leaders of like countries and stuff get like bands to come up perform because it could potentially be a double edged sword, you know. You get the privilege, but then they might not like you very much. Um, how I wish to exchange those separations and reconciliations to San Adrian Santa Spring. Okay, so far as to Occam Razor this, right? Um, yeah, it's definitely poetry that this is it. Um, so you guys can fill me in on what the song is about if you like, but my understanding of it is, um, he wants to come back in future, understand love. It's about separations, you know, he wishes that the future would be better and they could be together again. Exchange of separations, reconciliations, present of the uh, coolness of autumn, going around in circles just to probe, dancing around loud, left trace of regret. Okay, so he's talking about how he wishes he don't have any regrets, keep the connection strong, that the future will be as cool as autumn. I like that. It's interesting imagery. That is a great track for number one, and I'm going to give that a heart. I'm going to give that a heart. That was from Zhang Yuxing and also Mark. Um, who is Mark? What did Mark do? Mark is that person. Polo's Poyo song. Mark, 25,000 listeners. Created in 2019. Who is Mark? No, I'm serious. Like, is that the Mark that was involved in it? What part did Mark play? Where was Mark and where where is Mark involved in this all this? I'm genuinely curious about this. But um, yep, great first track. It's exactly what I expected from Zhang Yuxing, and I want to hear more of it. I got told as well that it wouldn't be like the heavy kind of rock stuff that we heard in the previous albums all the way. But that that's fine, you know. I don't. We're not here to listen to chug chugs. If I wanted to listen to chug chugs, I just play some guitar. We've got I miss you every day. Um, track number number two today. Maybe. Maybe it was someone who re re sang the song. This is very 80s, isn't it? With the synthy kind of string bit. Oh, those pads are gorgeous, aren't they? Dude, who did the best cover of that song? Who did the best cover of that song we reviewed before? Yeah, he's got a higher voice, hasn't he? He really does sit on top of everything else. Um, you know, he loves his piano. We've got some guitar parts as well, but he loves his piano. Uh, and you can tell he can play, but he's keeping that solid. He's almost like he's voicing it towards the music rather than his own skill set. Parallel major. The the harmony is 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 dreamy. I love how he's messing with expectations, not relying with the standard key six. Oh wow, that's so adorable, dude! I can't believe that they proposed during a concert. Did she say yes? Because it would have been like, well, obviously she's entitled to say no if she wants to. I mean, if you don't want to marry him, don't marry him, right? But like. <laughs> Hopefully they live. <laughs> I like it when people use these backing uh, vocal parts in choruses just to um, 
just to make that sound bigger. You know, I, I really enjoy that because it can just instantly dis distinguish a chorus from a from a verse. You know, it it makes it so easy to understand what's going on, and it adds a sense of warmth to it, like almost like it's a spiritual experience. <laughs> Very punchy bass on the low end though. That's occasional. No, it's not occasional, it's a 16th note sequencer. So much space in this part where there aren't the vocals though. Zhang Yuxing fills up the space really well. There's a shimmer coming in from those reverb chains. Yeah, I get that. I mean, it does kind of sound like a teen, I suppose. I love that. That, that, but, uh, you know, these drums, the guy can would probably just smash some double kicks, but he's just rolling with these really chilled out, supportive snare fills. You know, we're not even really approaching the toms at this point. I suppose they'll come in for the transition to the next hook or, or something like that. But it's like each different element is simple, but when you put them together, it becomes this complex arrangement. You know, I'll allow the comparisons to Michael Jackson, eh? I'll allow the comparisons to Michael Jackson. I mean, like, I can't sing like him, but I want to sing along to it. That makes me sad, Shinita. It makes me really, really sad because I just, I, I really am starting to get a little bit sick of record labels and major labels telling artists what they can and can't do. It's it's a, it's difficult because without these labels, there's a chance we may never have heard of these musicians in the first place. But at the same time, that that I suppose it all revolves around money at the end of the day, doesn't it? Which is a shame. Which is a shame. But I mean, I suppose if they're making if, that, if it's a business, it's a business, right? It's a music career for a reason. Okay. Yeah. We we really want this. Okay, we're repeating this outro here. So this is this is definitely one of his more commercial tracks. It's nice to hear this side of him, to be honest, because I haven't really had that yet. I like the every day of my life. I like that in the background, though. That's a fun little addition there. It's a nice way to split up the chorus at the halfway point, especially when we're already repeating it from the first time. Wait, hang on a minute. So wait, he couldn't write his own... Oh, of course, because like Jay Chow wasn't allowed to write his own lyrics. He had like Vincent Fang helping him out a lot of the time, didn't he? Vincent Fang, if I'm not mistaken. Why weren't they allowed to write their own lyrics? Why were these people not allowed to write their own lyrics? What? Why was that? Were the record labels are paranoid that like they might say something... Um, controversial or something like that or did they not think that the musicians they were hiring in advance to record multiple records actually had a creative bone in their body to write stories nice slow down finish Yeah, I'll allow that. I'll allow that. I'll allow that. I enjoyed that. That was a good song. That was a good song. Yeah, I mean, Vincent had many songs pre-written. Vincent, is that right? Is that right? He had many songs pre-written, and Jay just executed them. Sup, Taiwanese? How you doing? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Uh, welcome to the stream. We're reviewing Zhang Yuxing today. We're a Chang Yuxing or Tom Yuxing. I, I, I shit you not. Do you know how difficult it was to figure out what the title of this live stream was going to be? Um, it was only part of the reason why I was a little bit late to this live stream. Um, uh, it's just, just I didn't know whether to say Zhang or Zhang. 
It's why I like bands like Metallica, because Metallica is just Metallica, right? But some of these people have got different names that they use for different situations, and you're never sure which one to appro to, to use that's appropriate, you know? People couldn't sing Rap Vincent's lyrics. Oh. Um, Vashki, Greg, I don't know. I mean, like, maybe there's a fan request live stream tomorrow, although it's an SP Patron fan request live stream, so SP Patrons are going to get priority pick in the first 30 minutes, you know. But yeah. Um, why? That, so was Vincent, wait, hang on a minute. So, like, I know we're reviewing Zhang Yuxing at the moment, but, like, here, here's, here's the thing, right? Was, was Jay Chow chosen because he could do Vincent's lyrics? Is that it? Well, then why did people give Jay such a hard time for his mumble rapping, then if he was working with such incredibly complicated lyrics? That's the kind of weirdness to me, because people gave Jay a lot of a bad time. Oh, yeah. Oh, totally. That's true. That's that's a good point, actually. That's a good... Thank you for telling me about that. Yeah. Because I'm aware that there's differences with, like, the, the, the symbols and stuff like that. Um, yeah. I, I want to know how Jay got signed in the first place, to be honest. Oh, no, I think people have told me about why that is. I know we're getting we're getting distracted from, like, Zhang Yuxing stuff, but it's good to talk about the stuff, because, I mean, I don't really get to talk about the stuff otherwise, you know? I don't get people to talk to otherwise um, about the stuff. It's not like I have people here in, in New Zealand who I can talk to about Jay Chow stuff. If I talk to someone, usually it's, do you know how to play that drum beat? Have you practiced the guitar over the week, you know? I miss you every day. Hmm. Oh, so this is about someone taking a leap of faith to be with him and have that connection there. Yeah. Way ahead of you, Jacob. Way ahead of you, brother. I'm just having a look through his lyrics. Um... Oh, uh, yeah, so, like, basically, Zhang Yixing is waiting for this person to come back so that they can show some vulnerability and reach out to him, you know? Um, I miss you every day, and every day, and guard my life, too, so as to leave my best love to you. Um, cool, 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 Um, yep, I get it. So, it's a love song. It's a love song about someone wanting to sort of, like, um... Have someone have that leap of faith and be with them. Okay, I get it. And the trepidation involved with that. The third one is My Future Isn't a Dream. Ah, it's Hanky. Dude, he's had so many contributions. Look at his... Look, at, he's done like 480 of these translations. This guy is the OG, man. Like, when I started doing the Billy Billy stuff, I was just relying... Oh my fuck. Look at that. Googlemail.com. He is so old school. That he doesn't even have Gmail. He has googlemail.com. That is hardcore, dude. Googlemail.com. What is that? What is googlemail.com? Dude, I am endlessly entertained by the idea of Google Mail. My future isn't a dream. The third track of today. Google Mail. <laughs> Oh, this is charming. He is the legendary translator of songs, Han Keat. Dude should be given a middle, a middle of a translation middle. Ah, oh, Shin Yida, welcome to SP Member. Welcome. For becoming an SP member. Yeah, kind of like an old school graduation song. That's good to know. Thank you. I love, I love it. I wish I could sing. Um, an old school graduation song. Wait, so how important are these graduation songs? Like, what is the deal with graduate? 
So I'm just gonna just like, <coughs> just gonna just cough away from the mic. Because this kind of sounds like the end of a dance, you know? Like, you know they have those formals, those dance ones, where they have the cute little electric keyboard with the vocal ballad? What is the importance of these graduation songs? I'm curious about it. We don't have that in New Zealand. They're so charming, dude. Guitars and drums. And it's near, it's been a minute now, dude. He doesn't hesitate. It's just wild. Again, the cooler response. This guy must be classically trained. He's an absolute beast. Absolute beast, man. When was this released? Oh, 88. That makes a lot of sense. That snare drum sound. You know, that bush. That is, a, that is an 80s snare. And I'll have you know that that is one of the best kinds of snares. You know? They ended up with, like, weak wussy snares in the 90s. <laughs> the li a summary of what happened during that few years of school and what the future holds oh man you guys must have amazing times at school i remember leaving school and i was like i'm never going back i don't want to remember it i just want to go and go and have a gap here and work <laughs> work in a supermarket for a year and buy lots of guitars you know like google mail but thank you jacob i appreciate you dude Okay, it's catchy. Go the two, four, one, two, three, four. Great contrast in the relative grooves and pace of the different parts. It's so catchy and it's kind of cheesy, but I love it for that. It's like, I'm pretty sure I would have been absolute banging along to it. Not banging, because that's not really the song you want when you're doing that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you'd want to be... Uh, I don't know if this would, did fit the mood uh, for that situation, but um, like, I'm nonetheless head banging to it, you know? It's nice for it to slow down here, and it's just so charming and shimmery. It's so colorful, dude, with these bright crisp synth parts and these snare snare bells and such, you know? A guitar solo. Thank you. I've been in an oasis, and I need the shred. Nico-chan. Sup, Nico-chan. How you doing? Why didn't they allow him to play more guitar? Like, I would have been happy if this guitar, the song had just been guitar for the entire remainder of the song. Like, just have him play guitar for the rest. I mean, that's because I don't know what, like, the, so the words to the song are, but I would have been totally happy if it had just been guitars. Oh, thank you, Shinida. I appreciate that. Wait, Song of Fame started out as a drink ad and it went viral. What? What? This is a drink ad? Oh my goodness. That's wild. That's awesome, dude. Good, good. The song made me remember I used to listen to my father's Yang Shu Shu. Dude, Andreas, where do you get cassettes? I want to listen to a cassette, man. I like... Yeah, that Japanese 80s style is so, so dope, dude. So dope. They still should have had the guitar solo for the rest of the song. Those that that is the most gentle kick drum I have heard in my life. Like that is just a like a little soft patter. That was the 80s for you. Everything had reverb. Even, like, the reverb had reverb. 
they were trying to find more ways of making things as misty as they were when people were having trips. Dude, I used to have a Walkman, and I'll have you know that it, I preferred it to, like, my phone that has no fucking headphone jack. Thank you very much. It's a nice head bob. Not quite a head bang, but a head bob, you know? You got, like, uh, shit. Where's my phone? I was gonna do the, the the whole like, but it's too quick to do a like the candle with you know the candle would go out. Again, that call and response for the vocals and the guitar parts comes from someone who is so polished and so fluid at this point that nothing could stop him. You know, Zhang Yuxing was a formidable force to be reckoned with, and and and, and no one will destroy him. He is the destroyer of speakers everywhere, but in a nice possible way. It's like he's crushing your sound system and you're relenting to it. Walkman Discman Mini Disc. Mini Disc. Well, I mean, like, nowadays, at least you could, like, hit someone with a Walkman or you could throw it at them. Like, if you throw your phone at someone, It'll still work, so they'll just steal it. Oh, we're repeating the chorus. Zhang Yuxing, I thought we were beyond this, but I didn't think we were going to be doing it twice. You've already got five minutes of material. Why are we repeating the chorus again? That should be illegal. It should be illegal to repeat the chorus twice. <laughs> Oh no, he's doing different stuff. You could have totally had a guitar solo over this part. Have some bent notes, you know? Literally, I am just like, I am fiending for a guitar solo from Zhang Yuxing, because I know he can shred. And uh, these record label bastards didn't allow him to have more guitar solos. And I think that that's illegal. I think that there needs to be more guitar solos in this music. And I was warned about this in advance. That I tell you what, man, the truth hurts. The truth hurts is that it's not just all shred. Um, cassettes used to get stuck and mess up the wires. See, I think that that's the fun of it, though, is that you have something that you can break really easily, so you take better care of it. You can't break a digital file unless you download it from LimeWire and it actually has seven Trojans inside of it. R.I.P. LiveWire. R.I.P. LiveWire. Um, Backstreet Boys cassettes and Celine Dion. I, I'll tell you what, man. I reckon that Celine Dion cassette is aged like a Charizard card, man. Go get yourself that $300,000 Celine Dion, um, tape deck. It's all good. Oh, oh, right. That's pretty wild, man. Chinita. That's pretty wild, man, that he was then parachuted into the national games to sing the song for the president. Like... Wow. Dude, I just cannot fathom the intensity of the situations that are discussed here. Like, I know we have an SP Discord. Just while I'm here, I've been asked to, like, bring it up with people, right? We have a Discord where people can, like, chat about music and stuff, right? So if I go here, you can, like, oh, hang on, what am I doing with my life? Make it smaller, Logan. Sheesh, why am I, like, showing people stuff? Go smaller. You can join the SP Discord and we can talk about stuff like music and all that. I got compared to Dave Grohl by people and that was fun. But um, I don't even know why I brought that up. I don't even know why I brought up the Discord. I'm completely lost. Oh yeah, I know we weren't supposed to be talking about politics or anything like that in the live streams. But you guys had a rough. You know, things have been rough for you guys over that part of the world. And I feel bad. I mean, in New Zealand, people just get angry about rugby. The only real protests we've had in New Zealand have been about rugby. So, like, yeah. Um, yeah, join us in the Discord. It's fun. You can chat to Dave Grohl. He says, sup. Sup. Sup, Dave Grohl. Anyways, um, let's continue with the lyrics for this one. You can probably tell that this has been, like, a real kind of interesting live stream. Um, I, I am, like, I'm here, but I'm very, very sassy today. This is a very sassy live stream. Hopefully you guys are having fun, though. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are having fun. 
From that faraway seaside, you were gradually disappearing. Suddenly, your original vague face gradually became clear. Hmm. Hmm. Discord. Discord, Discord, Discord. Um, while I'm here, while I'm here, like, shout out to K, uh, K and Jacob for their work doing the admin stuff on the Discord. Thank you to you both for your work on the Discord. I thoroughly appreciate it because I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. They're great people and they deserve the best. They deserve the best in life. And I mean that genuinely. Appreciate the help. Um, what's the difference with success? Found you there. It's another love song. But they're comparing it to the wind and the ocean and stuff. Wind, big sea can carry away the so sorrow. Please take it all away. So it's about the um, big sea. Yeah, the ocean taking away all the sadness, you know. Yes. I hid the super chat. I hid the super chat. I hid it. Okay, guys. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it because this is one of those live streams. I have hidden the super chat. I've hidden it. There is no more super chat. The reason is because I want to do longer fan request live streams. And I want them to be two hours long. And what I've done is I've decided to hide the super chat so that people can't request songs via that. And if people want one priority pick per live stream, they can become an SP member. There's also a whole bunch of other cool stuff well, I think it's cool. Like, people will get to vote on weekly videos and stuff. And I'll also be doing, like, maybe a production live stream or something the SP members want me to do. Uh, we'll go between them. But, yeah, look, guys, I just... I've been trying to figure out a way for these fan requests to be longer so that more people can get their songs heard. And for me to go any longer than, like, 2 o'clock on a Sunday... I like, 2 hours on a Sunday is a lot because I work 7 days a week. So yeah, basically, if we get to a point where like we get so many SP members that there aren't any slots available for people to choose like non-SP member choices, we'll just like extend the length of the live streams, you know, and we'll just keep doing that. But basically, yeah, if you want, just, just while I'm here though, this obviously like won't affect people who are SP patrons for tomorrow's one. So tomorrow is the SP patrons fan request live stream. So SP patrons will still have priority for the first 30 minutes, so their choices will go first. But SP members will have priority over people, um, other members, outside, other people outside of that, you know. Um, and I know it's probably going to piss a few people off, but it's the only way I can think of where I can really keep a firm kind of like limit on the amount of tracks we review, whilst also being able to justify doing longer sessions in future. So yeah, if you want to become an SP member, do that. Go check it out, but there's no pressure. Either way, it's fine. We've got two SP members at the moment, so it's not like we're in a massive rush there. Um, yeah, thanks again to, to K, Kaku, Soup, K, K um, and Jacob for their work. But there's no more. there will never be any more Super Chats. I just don't want to do that anymore. Um, I want to make sure that if we have people in the queue who have had their requests, they don't get trumped by people who put money in through the super chats so yeah anyways let's continue shall we i think we understood what that track was about i'll make a video about it i don't know how popular it'll be but we'll get we'll see but yeah um anyways we're gonna listen through this track by uh zhang yuxing uh this 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 fourth one here um what's this fourth one called uh nope oh no oh shit Oh, shit, I actually got the songs confused. I completely got my songs confused. You can tell I'm tired today. You can tell I'm really, really tired today. Um, do you bow your head in the sun like me, streaming sweat? Nope, never mind. People have just been hearing me and been like, yeah, he'll figure it out eventually. So the next song was about the, the big C. This one's my future isn't a dream. Okay. I, I get it. I get it. What a shit show, man. Um, how about Crossroads again and again? I know my future isn't a dream. 
yeah, so that's about op- uh, option optimism for the future and everything like that, I think. Still want to give it your desired life. I, I get it. Beats with hope, beats with hope. Cool. Track number four. Let's go. This is the ocean one. I will give both of these a like because I've enjoyed them. Great choice here. Are we going to get guitars in this one? Are we going to get solos in this one? That bass line is prominent. I'm enjoying that scale run we had there. His most success popular one, is it? Thank you. I appreciate that. So, I mean, I'm meaning this genuinely. What what did this change in the industry? How is this a milestone for Chinese pop music? Can people elaborate, please? Again, I like the sort of guitar with the vocals, the drums, and the bass, the, and everything like that. You know, it's a nice mix of different elements. It's high caliber for sure. It's high caliber for sure. Oh, solo time? Okay, there is lead. Oh, thank you. Okay, we're finally getting some shred. I dig it. Nice bit of tension there with some chromatics there. Nice panning of those pumps as well. I kind of recognize this song. I'm wondering if I've reviewed it previously or not. That guitar is singing on top, dude. And it's actually a feat of production there to be able to get that lead sitting so nicely behind his vocals. Especially like, because both are so interesting to listen to. It's such a de- delicate balancing act to be able to get those two elements in the center of the stereo field to sit like that. Well done to the recording engineers involved, you know? Again, those rolls there, those tom fills, everything here. There is nothing, there's no filler. And there's lots of little bits of inflection there. The vibratos are effortless, dude. They're stunning. I dig it. I vibe with that. Um, nothing but love. Why Zhang Yixing is brought towards the sound of it, you know. 
Undeniable that Zheng Yixin's composers and composers, composers and composers were first class in the music industry at that time. Um, yeah, I get the impression that Zhang Yuxin was his own independent spirit. Nice to finish with this piano line. Great uh, contrast to what we had before. Are we going to fade out or are we going to finish strongly? Okay. Excellent. Nice, a nice sense of roundness to it. It wasn't a generic finish. We had a little bit of extra, a couple of different intervals within that last chord, but it was it was good. It was, it was good. So that was track number four. Now, I know I've already spoken through the lyrics here because apparently I'm just like fast asleep today. Uh, that was that was big C. It did kind of sound like someone was playing guitar on the beach or something like that, watching over the ocean. I like it. I think that there was a great personality to that. Um, it was very poetic, you know. Carry, carry, carry away my sorrow, just like it takes away every river. I just don't really know how you could get better than this within the genre. Like, and I'm not being biased or anything like that. Legitimately, I've heard a lot of music over my time. I don't know what he could have done did it better or to try and improve them or, you know, it's just like, does he, do they, did he work with many other musicians like independently? Like did he, uh, how, how, who did he work with? Did he do any collaborations or anything outside of Mark or anything like that? I, I don't know. I don't know. Cause when you got a one man band like this, I mean, even if you've got orchestral sort of backing or even some comping involved from other people, you know, you really don't need any, that many other people involved, do you? I don't really know what else you'd need. I, I think it's great. I'm translated by Shu. Please take all of them away. All the tears that I cried, my love, please take all of them away. Interesting. Interesting. Suddenly the original fag base gradually becomes clear. Hmm. that's that that's that we'll go one more track though one more track uh we got duplicity lyrics of that that one which is duplicity posted by t-bin under lyrics i was driving back home when the radio was playing the song and the lyrics kind of caught my attention hence i got curious and i went to get the lyrics i must say it's a very difficult piece to translate due to the way it was written Nonetheless, this is the first try, and I would hope to get your comments to improve the lyrics. I wonder if they ever get any comics. Ah, uh, here we go. So the, it gets kind of down there, you know. It's all good. So it's all good. Um, so we've got track number five. Yeah. Track number five. Uh, it's called Duplicity. Let's go. Got some like, part, like instruments from India, I know, that part of the world, you know? There's almost a sense of foreboding from this, isn't there?
again, it's so soothing. It's so soothing. I know we had the grittiness, the tension with distortion, everything at the start, but this is so much more kind of. There's a weird sense of peace coming in from this. The vocals are angelic. Bass is nice and rounded, of sort of providing a foundation for the rest of the instruments. The drums are occasional with the toms. I'm glad you like it, Himawabo. I'm glad that you like it. And Shinida, dude, I'm, I'm glad that you're emotional about it. Like, yeah, sharing, sharing your passion for music with people. It's, it's important, you know, you've got to, like, you've just got to allow yourself to feel the music and be honest with yourself. And if you can find people who can relate to that, then you're in that sort of like safe zone, you know. Okay. I'm wondering if this was like the big single off of the album with the other kind of crazy stuff that I listened through the other time, you know. If I go through this album here. What? Oh, really? Oh, it's his last song. Oh. Oh, that hits differently, doesn't it? Well, I'm glad that he ended it on his own terms, you know? Like, I'm glad that he got to write a song like this, which seems at least in the style I'm familiar with from him, less commercial, you know? I mean, like, I can't compare what he's doing to anyone else I've listened to during these live streams. I really can't. I mean, there's people that go a little bit heavier than him. But the way he articulates it, it's like a sophisticated Guns N' Roses, if that makes sense. There's the best parts of the pop and rock stuff that came from, like, the 90s, in addition to some of the 80s elements with the synths and pads and electric keyboards. And then he puts the orchestral sections in there. And he combines it with contemporary sort of uh, contemporary structuring, and his vocals are just so consistently um, stunning throughout. You know, like it's not a note out of place. So there's been some people that have been telling me like that I promised to do some other album reviews at some point. I know that I promised to do the Jay Chow album review once per month now, um, but I think it would probably be fair for us to have a look through albums from other musicians as well. So what I'm kind of thinking is, and obviously it's up to you guys what we do, because I'll make sure I put a put a um, put a post out about it. Um, could we not do like a review of this in like the third week of each month? So like we'll do Jay in the first week and then we'll do like a top five and then we'll do like another album from another musician and then do a top five. Especially if I'm, if I'm starting these like live streams a little bit earlier, I don't really see how that could be a massive issue. You know what I mean? Um, but I would like to review the entirety of this album. I'd like to review it from start to finish. So if you guys would like me to review this album in a live situation, let me know and we'll do it. Okay, I'm, I'm genuinely serious about that. I, I'll tell you what. If you guys want me to review this, I will literally schedule it for for July. We can review this in July. Yeah? Yeah, let me know. I don't know if there's like a delay or not between when I'm talking when people are listening to this. But I, I suppose it's only fair that I review other musicians' albums if I'm reviewing a lot of J stuff, you know. I figure as long as I'm reviewing one J album per month, people will be happy. <laughs> Again, this careful consideration, don't 
Oh, really? Oh, poor man. It's so sad to hear that he didn't get to have his photo on that. Because I always wondered why it was, um, why it was that character there, you know, like that one. It was like, it kind of reminds me of Pinocchio, if that makes sense. As you know what, I'm just going to make executive decision here, okay? We're going to schedule that for, we're going to schedule this for July. We're going to schedule this one for July. I know people have also wanted me to review Eason Chan and Fei Wong, so I'll probably schedule Fei Wong for August, and then we'll do an Eason Chan album in September, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. So I'll schedule that after this, and we'll be all good. And then everyone should be happy, right? Um, I just feel really sad after listening through this, you know. It was really nice to hear more of Zhang Yuxing's more sort of contemporary poppy stuff. The stuff that the major labels wanted him to make. But at the same time, I also really... I'm so glad that this was his last album. That he got to write some of that kind of more sort of exploratory stuff that, of what I've heard from him previously. Um, I can understand why this... It's, it's always... It is always... It's always 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 the kind of the experimental stuff that gets the least plays or maybe he just hasn't got that many plays on spotify to be fair um that might be it but i'm pretty keen to listen through this entire album anyway so we're going to do that in july okay yeah we'll definitely oh east and chan you want me to do an east and chan one um yeah, I think I think I just said Eastern Chan literally. You can tell how tired I am. I'm forgetting what I'm saying. Fei Wong and Eastern Chan in September. Fei Wong in August. Uh, what are the lyrics for this one? What are the lyrics for this one? Um, Deceitfully, your passionate promise dissipated together with the west wind. Like this is incredibly different here. It's still poetic, but it's just the next level kind of poetic, you know. Like a foolish dream, the mutual love held dead, withered away like a wilt, withered, wilted away like a withered flower. That's interesting language. Though. I like wilted away like a withered, a willed, withered, a willed, like a <laughs> distant spark. My passion at once limited has been inside by us. Um, uh, my pain will be released. Mm. Oh, Martin, we've already reviewed a David Tao album this year. I don't know if we can do another one. I don't know if we can do another David Tao album. I don't know. I don't know. Then again, maybe we can do David Tao in January. I want to give some other musicians a chance to shine. I want to do our number 10 Youth Society. Um, same as Shui album review too. Okay. So basically, I want to do... I want to do... Zhang... Yu Xing in July and Fei Wong in August and then um oh thank you thank you Shin Yida I appreciate that um, I didn't realize that we we had super thanks enabled, but I, I, I thank you very much for that. It's much appreciated. Uh, we'll probably do, we'll do Eason Chan in September. And I don't know who else, but you got, you all can, can vote on it. You all can vote on it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for that. I appreciate that donation there. It does help a lot. Um, thank you for be also becoming an SP member today, Shin. You know, I appreciate that too. Um, so love and hatred intertwined, wasted away. Only fear I'm suffering without claws. Um, yeah, it's kind of sad that he was talking about his emotions fluctuating as he mourns in silence. Waiting for the day my pain will be released. 
and then he he dies. That's really dark, you know. It's Wang Feng. All right, should we do do a Wang? Okay. 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 Guys. Yo. Oh, I'm, I am down to clown with if I are. I also want to do Mayday, but an album that people want me to review. I haven't heard of. The thing is, is that like, I'm basically treating YouTube like a job now. This is part of why I'm doing the SP member stuff. It's why I'm doing the stuff with um, with the Patreon stuff. I'm basically treating this like a job. Um, obviously, part of that is me needing to be sort of on time with live streams and be um, organized. But, you know, there's 5,000 people subscribed to this channel now. And I think that there's room to grow it further. And for me to do that, I have to try and have good relations with you all, you know? And we need to kind of make this mutually beneficial, right? <laughs> so I think they're doing a JHL album on the first week of the month and then doing like an album on like the third week of the month with the top five in between is fine. I'm kind of just accepting that I'm going to just have to like commit to doing like two hour live streams on Saturdays and Sundays. Um, but I that's, that's why I don't really want to commit to more than that outside of the SP member stuff where like it might be just like a chill like production thing, you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't mind doing stuff from other country albums. Like, it's totally fine. I, dude, I literally don't even know why I have this platform with, with the JHL stuff. I mean, literally, to be fair, it's because Cassander, like, bought a review from me without me knowing that he did. And, like, I just ended up getting attention once he actually admitted that he was actually doing work through me and, and actually told people who I was, you know, that's when people started associating me with Jay Chow. But, but, you know, that's, that's fine. Look, um, that's a long story I've gone on about enough. Um, we knew stuff from other countries. It's fine. It's, it's been a long live stream. I feel like I've kind of blathered on quite a bit in this one. Um, but I think reading through this, it just sounds like the love didn't go very well and they let go and they broke up and it's a sadness that he's struggling to cope with. But yeah, these five album, these five tracks we've listened to today have all been good. I preferred this one, but honestly, like, I have to admit that I'm sort of more excited for this album here than anything else. I'm looking forward to his final record. I, I feel that's the least I can do for the dude, Shang Yu Shing. Least I can do is hear him out. And, uh, who knows what else will occur? Who knows what else we'll get? Um, you know, this is my conclusion, though, obviously. What? Yeah, so... Do... Ying... Yu Xing... Last album... In... July... We'll do this one in July. Then we'll do this one in July. Um, and my conclusion for this for this review, um, <laughs> which has been one of my messiest ones, but fine. It's just the way it is, right? Um, Zhang Yuxing is a musician who tells stories of love, romance, looking back on his time at school, um, dealing with heartache and wanting the ocean to swallow up his emotions and his pain. Um, it's stuff that I think a lot of people will be able to relate to. He tells artistically, creatively, and poetically. I'm not sure how many of these lyrics were written by himself, considering that he needed the, um, 
labels to get involved and help you know no no he didn't need the labels to get involved he didn't want the labels to get involved at all but the lyrics the labels were like refusing to let him write his own lyrics uh, he always wanted sort of autonomy over his own stuff as a complicated mood yeah um a complicated mood mm, 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 mm. what else though you know the the voice the voice the vocals vocals are great um the guy can clearly sing holds pitch well has great voice knows his technique nice vibrators and legato sections the staccato bits knows how to approach the lines and the words individually for effect and he's charismatic and uh he's sorely missed um the structure of these tracks was that traditional verse chorus verse chorus structure not sure if there are many bridges there is occasional solo section here and there but mostly it was that kind of vocal oriented kind of thing there although i did enjoy the instrumental sections when they occurred you know to hear the guitar parts the piano parts the drums the bass other sort of instruments there some orchestral elements occasionally um again it's not it wasn't experiment as experimental as some of the other tracks i've heard from zhang yusheng but at the same time i think that's simply because he had golden handcuffs at that point in time he wasn't allowed to maybe be as creative as he wanted to be because he had to make stuff that was commercially successful so that the label would be happy because that's the most important thing when you're signing someone that's making you money is to make the other person happy that's that's how it works um you know uh, we, we had a situation here where the instruments were played incredibly well. Again, I'm not sure how much Yang Yuxing was actually playing of this, whether he was playing most of the stuff on the album or just a little bit. But either way, it was fine. It was impressive and it was respectable. And uh, you've got a musician here who knows the instruments inside out, knows how to get the best tones out of the individual elements of the mix, knows how to articulate them in a way that's appropriate, knows how to stack them on top of each other in the frequency spectrum in a way that makes sense, knows how to arrange complicated harmonies with parallel majors and minors in a way that is stunning and interesting. And ultimately, we just have someone who is just on top of their game. And I, I have lots of love for what they do. And I sound biased, but I'm not. It's just, it's just, it's, I just haven't really heard many people like Zhang Yuxing. You know, I just really haven't. I haven't. He's, he's, an, he's incredible, incredible human being. Um, these, the recording mixing mastering was sensational. You know, I can read a lot of that 80 production where like the heavy kind of reverb dr drum like the, the snares and stuff like that and you know but but there was such a dynamic range the performance there the EQing and the stereo panning on the various instruments the effects chains oh it's beautiful dude absolutely stunning i have nothing but love for what was accomplished here on behalf of the recording and post-production um i know that that 80s thing with like the electric keyboards and stuff and the janglies and the vocals here sort of soaring over it was part of the mood of that point in time but at the same time it's timeless i could listen to this stuff enjoy it now just as much as i think a lot of people have been able to ages ago that's without me even understanding the language and uh you know ultimately um yeah five tracks that had their own unique individual identities and they were memorable and catchy and uh they were unique yeah i've already said they were unique and uh i've got nothing but love for it um, so I'm going to go now. I'm going to go have a sleep. Thank you. Thank you. You for your donation. Nico Chan. Thank you for your donation, Nico Chan. Thank you, Shin Yida and Nico Chan for their donations today. Um, I'm going to get some sleep. <laughs> uh, don't worry. Um, I will be able to keep up with these album reviews may was an absolute shit show i never want to have as much work to do as i did in may it was the fiverr stuff i had so many fiverr reviews to do um i had like 20 track albums and stuff like that it was just ridiculous it's all done now and i have two days off i'm gonna be live streaming tomorrow and then i'm on monday i'm just gonna just probably like sleep <laughs> Uh, because it's Queen's birthday. We're here in New Zealand. We pretend to care about the Queen just so that we can have a day off work. Uh, but thank you very much for your patience with me in this live stream. I am going to be making sure that I put in the individual song uh, where the songs start in this playlist because I have been rambling on throughout this live stream. Um, so people will be able to easily identify where the songs start. Obviously, if you rewatch this live stream, feel free to skip the parts where I ramble on for like hours. Though, to be fair, sometimes the live streams that I've had in previous parts have gone for like an hour and a half, an hour 45 or something like that. So this was a shorter one in retrospect. 
Um, but you make sure you take care. You make sure you have a fantastic weekend. Um, again, tomorrow is SP Patron fan request live stream. Uh, it'll be starting at five. As per actually the same was last last um, last month. And anyone who's an SP Patron will be able to have priority pick in that within the first um, you know, the first thirty minutes. And then after that, just because it's that once a month thing, SP Patrons get privileges there. And uh, SP members as well. If you're an SP member, um, after that 30 minutes, you'll be able to get your priority pick there as well. But yeah, take care, everyone. Stay safe and spider hands out. <laughs> Shit, man. Three.